we are uh, kicking off or launching a, a, a new project uh, that was approved by our board of directors back in 2019, but has only become operational uh, late in November last year. So it is a project to support the country efforts to attract more foreign direct investment and and also uh, promote uh, uh, greater exports in the in the economy. So we we call it the investment promotion and and, and trade export promotion program for for Suriname. It's a $10 million program uh, that will be executed in the next five years and has the, the goal to uh, be uh, helping CETA, which is the new agency that the government has created for investment attraction and export promotion to, to become operational. And at the same time, we will be uh, financing uh, a, a program where we will be trying to improve the way local firms, s small and medium local firms, can connect with multinational firms and exporters. So that that's the, the main object. Those are the main objectives of the program. You have just mentioned mentioned CETA. What is the link between uh, the FDI pro pro uh, program and CETA? Competition to attract foreign direct investment in the world is is very strong. Uh, there's very little funds coming to the developing na nations in terms of FDI and, and you can imagine countries like Mexico, Brazil, in Latin America are getting the big, the big amounts of F FDI. So smaller, for smaller countries it's more difficult. So what smaller countries need to do is to improve the tools that they have to attract FDI, and that's what we're trying to do. CETA is just that, it's, it's a specialized agency uh, under the umbrella of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, that will be have the technical people and expertise to, to uh, attract FDI and then also promote exports. Does Suriname have a lot of preparations to do for this program? Well, the, this, this, this program has been in the books. Uh, we, we have been trying to prepare for this program, program for the last three or four years. So this is now the time to execute. And, and uh, we have to be very efficient in the, in the execution. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not a huge program. It's 10 million US dollars, but most of the investments are not hard investments, are, are uh, resources to to, to produce the knowledge and the technical expertise in the new agency to do the type of things that, that we are saying that the new, this new agency is going to be doing. So, so that's, that's the challenge. Okay, during the presentation you have said Surema has the potential to be better in a lot of areas. Can you tell us what you mean by that? Yeah, Suriname is, is one of these countries that have been relatively isolated from, from regional and global markets. So given the current situation, what, what is happening in the world with the disruption of the value chains, we see that there's an opportunity for Suriname to become a player. So firms all over the world are looking for new places to locate, to better or to diminish the risk that they have been having with their investment in, in, in Asia or in Europe. And, and so we strongly believe that Suriname has the conditions because of multilingual society, multicultural society, uh, good natural resources, low cost, uh, to really be a recipient of those, of those flows. But it needs to have good tools, good business climate. Uh, that means get rid of, of the red tape, um, uh, trying to do ways to facilitate the way investors uh, uh, operate and you know when an investor comes an investor will require licenses, permits, all sorts of, 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 of uh, activities from the government and we need to simplify that, we need to make that more efficient, we need, we need to make their life more efficient. Not, not only because it is important to attract FDI, but FDI will be the lifeboat of local firms because what we want at the end of the day is having local firms expanding and reaching international markets. That was very clear. What will happen after today, after this presentation? So, 
so this is what we call the kickoff project uh, workshop and with that we're going to start with the first activities of of the project this is uh, an execution that will be here for for five years but we are planning to review and then this week the the activities of the, of the project the first the first activity certainly for the first for the first year and make some fine tuning and 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 then starting next week we're going to start very aggressively with with the execution of the project okay thank you